Right fellas, so as some of you guys who have been around on the channel for a while will know, a couple of months ago I made a video about what I think would be the best investment this year, and honestly one of the best investments in CSGO ever. Now at the time it seemed pretty far fetched, uh, e even to me who made the video. But I thought that today we should check up on what has happened to the prices of the items in question, and they are the Cologne 2014 stickers and the Katowice 2015 stickers and capsules. But just before we get into that, welcome to the channel or welcome back to all of you guys that are watching. And uh, I just want to tell you guys that YouTube is absolutely shafting all of the small to mid-sized CSGO YouTubers at the moment. And uh, let, let's just say all of the statistics on my channel are down a lot. Now, if you guys could be absolute legends and just like the video and comment something, e even if you're literally commenting a full stop, uh, that would help out an unreal amount for the algorithm. Like, uh, I, I don't even care if you didn't like the video, just leave a dislike. It, it helps as much as a like does. So, you know, whichever one floats your boat. But yeah, pretty much it helps me out a lot and uh, I really appreciate it. So yeah, let's get back into the video. Alright, so I made the first part of this video in early June uh, on the 6th to be exact so what i'm going to do is look at the prices of the main stickers and capsules at the time of that video and then compare them to the current price on the steam market that should give us a pretty good idea of uh, if this investment was actually as insane as i thought it was going to be and uh, as well as this i'm also going to look at some of the main reasons why i think the prices have changed the way they have which you never know it could be up or down i might have been completely wrong but to be honest i'm pretty confident about this i, I think i got it right okay first off let's start with the cologne 2014 stickers which obviously came out all the way back in 2014 at the Cologne event and uh, yeah overall these are just some pretty rare and uh, nice looking stickers especially the hollows. Now back when I made this video I thought these would be a pretty good investment but not quite as good as the Kato 2015 stuff and uh, I'm not gonna lie I, I was pretty surprised when I saw what had happened to the price of these. So if we start by looking at the capsules the prices have jumped up massively for the Challenger capsule. The price has gone from £19 per capsule on the day that I recorded that video up to a peak of £99 and a consistent sale of just over £50. That's over a 5 times increase in price in just a couple of months. Similarly with the Legends capsules it's gone from £20 on June 6th to a peak of £89 and it's now consistently selling for just over 40 quid. So this as well is a big multiplier of just over quadruple the initial price. Not gonna lie that's, that's pretty mad. Now as well as the capsules, all of the Cologne 2014 stickers have also had a huge increase in price, especially on the more iconic stickers such as the Titan and I by Power Hollow. The most expensive one of the stickers from this collection however is the Dignitas Hollow which has gone from £150 on June 6th to a peak of 554 and is now consistently selling on the Steam market for about 400 the Titan Hollow has also gone from £36 to a peak of 251 and a consistent sale of 160 and the I by Power Hollow has gone from £73 to a peak of 302 and is now selling consistently for just over 190 This price jump has affected even the non-hollow stickers and the uh, less iconic hollow stickers with most of them at least tripling in price. And yeah, that is just absolutely crazy to happen in just a few months. So now we'll look at what I was expecting to be the best investment and uh, you could say the main show of the video and that is the Katowice 2015 stickers. So I won't lie, compared to the Cologne 2014 stickers, the increase in price is actually pretty similar whereas I thought it would have increased a fair bit more. The Challenger's Hollow Capsule went from £145 to £478 and the Legend Hollow Capsule went from £80 to £224. So still massive price jumps of around 3 times for both. The main stickers for this series also had pretty similar price changes with the Vox Hollow going from 360 to 840 pounds, the Titan Hollow going from 180 to 648 pounds, and the Navi Hollow going from 205 to 497 pounds. So all around massive increases and this applies to practically all of the major Kato 2015 stickers. And that does include the non-hollows as well. If you had any of these stickers uh, around the time I made that initial video, you'll be in a fair bit of money now. So now that we've actually had a look at how much the price has jumped up, let's talk about why I think this has actually happened and what has caused the price to move up that fast. So the first reason, which is in my opinion the biggest reason for this price increase, is the Chinese CSGO community. They have been buying huge numbers of these items for both investments and high tier sticker crafts. And as we know, if the demand for something is high on the Steam market, the price will begin to rise up at a pretty similar rate. 
Now, the second main factor that has gone into this, in my opinion, is a bit more of a debatable one, but I personally think it played a pretty big factor, is the fact that the Katowice 2014 captions and stickers, which are the most iconic and most expensive stickers in the entire game, have been really running out, especially in terms of the capsules. There's not many of them left, and that means that many big content creators such as Prodigy have uh, made videos focusing more on unboxing Cologne 2014 and Katowice 2015 capsules, because they are also pretty high tier and make good videos, but aren't so hard to find and incredibly expensive as the Kato 2014s. So this means that because they're getting open, the supply is getting slowly smaller and that means people are going to be able to sell them for a higher price to the YouTubers and just other people in general because the demand is rising but the amount actually available is dropping. So uh, anyway, that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to say in this video. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this investment and why you think the prices have gone up so much. Also, be sure to hit that big old red subscribe button to see any future videos I make. Uh, they might be similar to this, they might be trade-up videos, they could even be gameplay videos, who knows. And yeah, as I plugged at the beginning of the video, uh, please like the video, it really does help more than you know. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and as always, I'll see you in the next one.